So, my name is Alex Ressi, I'm the creator of Tweet When You Eat. My goal for Tweet When You Eat is to create the simplest food diary you would ever keep. I built the site in 2007 as a way to lose weight for my own wedding. It worked. <laughs> my needs at the time were the One, I wanted something that was simple. Two, I never wanted to have to perform a calorie workout. And three, I wanted to build a community that could help support me in my initiative. So the first thing I'm going to do is post uh, an entry through Twitter to my tweet with your food diary. There are two ways I can do this. I can do it with, through direct message or by specifying the fly hashtag. I'm going to use a direct message because it's private and no one needs to see what I have for lunch. And I'm going to input it as follows. So D specifies a direct message. Twy is tweet where you eat handle on Twitter. And I have a turkey sandwich, a oatmeal cookie, and some potato salad. And I happen to know that the potato salad is around 300 calories, so I can use a colon to specify calories. Now, as you can see, all the food entries I put in here are comma separated and I enter them into natural language. So I'm going to send. Now any of you who may be trying to follow along, you have to register on Tweet Me Eat first before, before trying. So why Twitter? The reason I chose Twitter was because it was already integrated into my everyday life. And I could update it through my mobile phone, the web, or through text messages. So let's go to the Tweet Me Eat homepage. One of my favorite features about the site is the fact that you have pretzels, you get some mac and cheese, you click on anyone's food diary and see everything that they've had to eat. Which may or may not be a good thing for some. And um, the idea behind the open food diary was I wanted to keep myself accountable. Uh, and this happens to be the trick. On top of that, it's a great way to browse and see what other people are eating. So, this is the quest of the Tweet for You Eat community, these open food diaries. But the heart and soul of Tweet for You Eat is in the forum. The forum is, uh, has a variety of different diet and weight loss topics. Um, as you can see, here's someone for a buddy to help them with their weight loss goals. And um, there's even a search, and you can find a lot of great success stories of people who have lost upwards of 50 pounds using Tweet for You Eat. So now let's go over to my diary and see if those entries that I posted through uh, Twitter have arrived. All right, so in my diary, I can now see that the things that I posted on Twitter, the potato salad, the oatmeal cookie, and the turkey sandwich are here. If you remember, though, I only added calories to the potato salad. So I have calories filled in for the oatmeal cookie and turkey sandwich. So where did those come from? The answer is, if I've eaten that food in the past, then Tweet Me Wheat will grab the calorie profile I've used and insert it for me. If I haven't eaten that food, then um, that calorie value comes from all of you. Tweet What You Eat has the Internet's first completely crowdsourced calorie database. And if I click on oatmeal cookie, for instance, I'll see all the different calorie values that people who have eaten that same food have entered. So, 24 people say that an oatmeal cookie is 200 calories. So, if I don't input that value, that will appear as a default in my diary if I have a crowd health setting or not. And if I don't happen to like that choice, I can always click on something else. <laughs> <laughs> um, Alex, I think we're going to have to wrap this up. Okay. So cool. Thank you. This there are a lot of great features. Uh, and I encourage you to check